click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends and today we are going to study a last numerical which is based on power series expansion method which means we are going to find out inverse Z transform signal but using power series expansion method. So first of all we will see the question and then we will move on to solution. So the problem number three determine inverse z transform of signals or a function x of z and it is 3 plus 2 z inverse plus z to the power minus 2 1 minus 3 z inverse plus 2 z to minus 2 and using we have to find out using a power series expansion method now in this question the roc value is not given so we can assume the roc is maybe a causal or you can assume roc can be a non-causal so i'm solving this numerical by assuming the roc is a causal roc so let's move on to solution my x of z is 3 plus 2 z inverse plus z to the power minus 2 and in denominator 1 minus 3 z inverse plus 2 z raised to minus 2 now i'll assume this question is for causal sequence or for causal roc and if the function is a causal then we are going to arrange a denominator from higher power of z to the lower power of z and then we will divide the numerator. Basically, my denominator is already in the range of z to the power 0 to z to the power minus 2, that is from higher power to lower power. Now, we will directly divide the numerator. So, listen, which term you are going to multiply it with 1 so that your answer will be a 3? Of course, the answer is 3. If I multiply this one by 3, then you will get the 3. So, multiply this 3 with the whole denominator. So, what you will get? A 3, 1, the 3 next 3 3 is a 9 so i'm going to write 9 z raised to minus 1 last one 3 2 is a 6 what is the next step just to cancel these two values we'll change the sign so this two term will get cancelled and the 9 z raised to minus 1 sign changes to plus so 2z inverse plus 9z inverse answer is 11z inverse next the 6z raised to minus 2 answer sign will get changed to minus so minus 6z square plus z to the power minus 2 answer is minus 5z raised to minus 2 now next one next step is we have to multiply 1 with some value so that our result will be 11z raised to minus 1 now here we have 1 which means if i multiply 11z raised to minus 1 with 1 the answer will be 11z raised to minus 1 so in my question i'll write 11z raised to minus 1 and multiply this whole value with whole divisor or denominator 11 in the 1 11 z raised to minus 1 next 11 z inverse minus into 3 z inverse answer is minus 33 z raised to minus 2 and the last one 11 to the 22 and in the power we write z to the power minus 3 now to cancel this one we will change the sign so what you will get this two term will get cancelled now 33 sign changes to plus so plus 33 minus 5 answer is 28 and now 22 z raised to minus 3 answer sign changes to minus Now again, if I multiply this one with the 28z to the power minus 2, answer will be 28z to the power minus 2. So, I am going to multiply this 28z to the power minus 2 with the whole denominator. Now, 28 3 is 84, so I will write a minus 84 z to the power minus 3 and 28 2 is a 56 so we'll write 56 z to the power minus 4 
now again i will change the sign so that 28z raised to minus 2 will get cancelled now 84 sign is now plus so 8 plus 84 minus 22 answer is 62 z to the power minus 3 and the last one this sign is changes to minus so we'll write minus 56 z to the power minus 4 and again if i want to multiply 1 to get this 64 z cube which term you are going to multiply answer is same 64 z cube So answer is 64z to the power minus 3. Now if I multiply this 64z cube with this whole one, then the first of all, if I multiply with 64z into 1, answer is 64z cube and this two term will get cancelled. But do one thing, we will write only the question part, we are not going to move further and we will stop here and this is nothing but my question and this division is going to be so on. Now we'll move on to next part that is this question is nothing but my answer but I'll compare this answer with the standard definition of Z transform. So this is our question part. Now I'm going to compare this question with the definition of a Z transform. So according to definition of Z transform, this was the definition of Z transform but while solving question what I said we are going to solve this numerical for a causal sequence and causal sequence always start from 0 to infinity so I'm going to change this summation limit from n equals to 0 to infinity I'll break this summation value so that I can substitute n equals to 0 value or you can say I can substitute n value from 0 to infinity but i'm not going to solve this whole question up to infinity i'll substitute only a three or you can say a four sample value that is i will substitute n equals to zero to n equals to three and the last value i'm going to put that is n equals to infinity the first value that i have substituted n equals to zero so z raised to zero is always one that i'm not going to write next one is n equals to one so this will be x of 1 but listen for a positive sequence order of z is always negative because it carries a negative sign in the power and the last one that is x of infinity and you will get multiplied z to the power minus infinity now just simply compare this equation let's say 2 with this equation number 1 and which term we are going to compare the coefficients of z now so after comparing what you will get if i compare z to the power 0 coefficient then here we have 3 and here we have x of 0 so i can say that x of 0 is having value 1 similarly the x of 1 value is 11 x of 2 value is 28 and x of 3 value is 64 now well basically this is nothing but the original sequence or you can say the x of n sequence and at origin this sequence is having amplitude 1 and for n equals to 1 it is having amplitude 11 for n equals to 2 it is having amplitude 28 and for n equals to 3 it is having amplitude 64 so i can write my sequence like like this and i'll mark perfect one arrow perfectly in the below of to the below of three 
and this is our result so basically what we have to do in power series expansion method first of all we'll see the roc if the roc is causal then always arrange denominator from higher power of z to the lower power of z now if roc is a non causal then do the reverse process so that you will get a causal sequence or the amplitudes for a causal and amplitude for a non causal sequence respectively now we will study next numericals which are completely based on residue theorem because we have solved the first numericals which is based on power series expansion method now for to study residue method or to study the inverse z transform of residue method stay tuned to ikeda and subscribe to ikeda for further more videos thank you so much